Recently, while I was searching for some hard drives to set up a RAID 0 configuration, I noticed that uh, Western Digital so sold RED HDDs, or what they called RAID drives. I was interested in this, so I decided to dig in what it was and what I found blew my mind. Keep watching the video to find out. Don't forget to join my notification squad. After you hit the subscribe button, you should see a bell next to the sub button. Click it, check the box, and press OK. So, after researching a little bit, I found that Western Digital actually makes different hard drives for different purposes and they color code them based on how they are supposed to be used. As of March 2017, Western Digital has 5 colors, but if you include all the additions, you have about 11 different hard drives. The hard drive colors are blue, black, red, purple, and gold. And we will explain each and every one. Blue is the most commonly used one in entry-level computers. Its speeds are normal and the hard drive doesn't have any special feature. If you need a normal hard drive for everyday use, gaming, browsing, and other stuff, the blue drive has three versions which are PC version, mobile version, and SSHD PC desktop. These support up to 6 terabytes, in it, but I would not recommend it as a Western Digital had a green color drive which was so bad that they painted it blue and sold it in the lineup. All the PC mobile and PC desktop hard drives are these and you shouldn't use them as data corruption and hard drive failure is very common in these ones. Use the SSHD drive to be safe. To check if it, if it is a rebranded uh, green drive, check for the letter Z at the end of the hard drive's model number as that is the suffix uh, for rebranding green drives. Black is also a commonly used hard drive but the difference between blue and black is that black actually delivers 6 terabytes without all the ball linking that blue has. It is good for video editors, heavy gamers, and ph photographers. It costs about 50% more than blue, but those 50% will save you a lot of money in the long run. Black hard drives have stability and anti-corruption features, so you, sh you should expect your drives to survive a long time. Also, they, ac um, they actually have a 5-year warranty, which is awesome. Also, as a key feature, the black hard drives contain a dual-core processor on, a on board to help with the read-write operations which makes the loading games and important videos very fast while other hard drives only have a single core one. Red drives, also known as RAID drives or NAS drives, these are most commonly used in a RAID configuration and in a file server or both at the same time. It actually has two editions which are VD Red and VD Red Pro. Both are designed to handle heavy workloads like constant read and write operations 24-7, but VD Red Pro is as fast as a black hard drive so you can use it if you want. Purple is a surveillance hard drive which main usage is to record footage of up to 64 security cameras at the same time. They are awesome because they have IntelliSeq technology which prevents vibrations and ambient stuff from damaging the drive. They, they can actually both uh, both record and play 64 different video cameras and movies at the same time. Gold is a hard drive exclusively to serve as it to hand workloads of up to 550 terabytes per year, which is actually the most physically possible workload a 3.5 three inch hard drive would handle. They actually the, the only video drive to have 10 terabytes of storage. There's nothing in, uh, much I can say about here. I can only say that mm, I can that it can fix its own errors and that can stop a normal PC running a normal hard drive from working. And those are all the hard drive colors Western Digital has to offer. Of course, other companies like Seagate also make also 10 terabyte hard drives and have their own system. Also, as the, the fun fact, the larger the hard drive, the largest hard drive today is Samsung 16 terabyte SSD. Yes. A real 16 terabyte small and compact two and a half inch SSD. I'm not joking. You can you can actually look it up on you on Google and you'll see that it's true. If you enjoyed my video, don't forget to leave a like on this video and share it to your friends. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in next week's video. Bye.